The Crusher Noferno sealing system is used worldwide for the sealing of penetrations carrying a combination of plastic, metal and or GRP, GRE pipes. Optimal durable sealing and ease of installation are realized with the Rise Ultra Crushers, Noferno filler sleeves and Noferno sealant. Fold a fitting Rise Ultra Crusher around one of the plastic pipes and fill the free space between the crusher and the side of the penetration with one or more multi-sets of Noferno filler sleeves. This ensures the crusher and filler sleeves will remain tight fitting in the penetration. When installing the crushers and deck penetrations, make sure the multi-sets of Noferno sleeves are within reach in order to ensure the crushers don't fall down. All the plastic pipes and the penetrations are fitted with a Rise Ultra Crusher. Here also, one or more multi-sets of Noferno filler sleeves are installed directly to realize tight fitting. The empty space around the GRP, GRE and metal pipes is filled with multi-sets of Noferno filler sleeves. The filler sleeves are available in two diameters, types 1812 and 2719. To provide sufficient stability and fire safety, the optimum ratio should be about 1 to 2. To obtain the required mechanical stability, the complete set of filler sleeves must fit tightly in the conduit. Filler sleeves are inserted in the remaining smaller openings. If necessary, pliers can be used to ensure tight fitting of the sleeves. To fill up even the smallest openings, the filler sleeve can be split lengthwise, folded and inserted into the opening using pliers. After filling the conduit with the crusher and filler sleeves, the complete set should be pushed 20 millimeters into the conduit. For this, a piece of wood is used with a distance of 20 millimeters marked on it. Before finishing the penetration by applying the sealant layer, it's advisable to perform a final check on the packing of the filler sleeves and crushers. After cleaning the pipes and the part of the conduit wall where the sealant will be installed with a cloth, finishing can start. Start with filling the 20 mm free space in front of the penetration with no fur, no sealant. The conduit should be overfilled with the sealant because some Noferno sealant will be pushed between and into the empty filler sleeves during further finishing. When working on larger conduits, the sealant should be applied in two or more parts. This prevents hardening of the sealant during finishing work. Dependent on the humidity, the amount of sealant applied should be no more than can be finished in 10 minutes. Therefore, preparation of all tools is of great importance. The Noferno sealant is pressed down with a cloth that is sprayed with water, not soapy water. By doing this, additional adhesion is achieved in and between the filler sleeves, thus optimizing mechanical stability. Next, the sealant is smoothed by hand. Your hands should be thoroughly wetted with soap and water to prevent the sealant from sticking to your hands. To avoid adhesion problems, the soapy water should not be applied in the areas where sealant will be applied in a later stage. After the upper part of the conduit is sealed, the other side of the conduit is sealed in the same way. The viscosity of the sealant guarantees optimal flow characteristics and prevents the sealant from sagging or dripping off. Apply the sealant here also in two or more parts to prevent the sealant from hardening during the finishing work. 